I'm here at the uh, start line with Christian uh, Meyer, and we are at the uh, start of stage 18, the last day in the Pyrenees, the, the famed uh, climb up Potacom. Um, Christian, congratulations on uh, making the tour team. You Welcome, much. and you're near the near the end now. Yeah, you, uh, I mean, uh, a couple of big days to go, but yeah, getting there. Yeah. Um, I mean, right off uh, the top, I have to ask you: Did you uh, imagine that you'd be here uh, three weeks ago? And... Oh, definitely not. I mean, um, I'd been on the the long list for a little bit to to do the tour potentially. And then at the the Dauphiné, I sort of uh, said, okay, this year, you know, we're going. Uh, you won't be on the team this year, so uh, you know, that's that. You're still a reserve. But even being a reserve, you know, I didn't really think that uh, I'd end up getting a call up in the last minute. But uh, in the end, it's, it's fantastic. You know, I can't be more happy to be my first tour friends. Can you uh, tell us a bit about the emotions that uh, ran through your, your head uh, when you got that call and you're, you went in 48 hours, you're on a plane at the start line in Leeds? Yeah, I mean, it all happened really quick. And I mean, um, the emotions are definitely, you know, they, they tend to be a little bit mixed because I replaced a guy who, who was injured, so that's not always uh, so nice. You know, you have, uh, you know, you realize how big of a race the Tour de France is, and to have a teammate missing it because he, he crashed out training, you know, you have to feel for for them as well. You know, it's a big deal, but uh, you know, everything was going so fast. I mean, I didn't really have that much time to think about, to be honest, you know, between uh, booking flights and, and getting everything sorted and getting over there. Uh, the first week just just flew by, you know, because you didn't have time to think about anything. So, in that sense, it was also probably not such a bad thing because I didn't really <laughs> maybe look too much at what was coming and didn't didn't stress too much about what was coming and just yeah. uh, jumped in head first. Great. Now, you mentioned the first week, uh, you know, uh, watching that on, on television, the, the British fans uh, were, were quite... Um, into the uh, the race and do, do you have any uh, I mean, it was, brushes with them? It was insane up there. I mean, there were so many people and, uh, you know, it was just, you had this real almost claustrophobic feeling the first three days of the race, you know, because there's people right. lining hundreds of kilometers of, of the road, you know, and um, sometimes a little bit dangerously so, you know, and uh, had a few, yeah, of course, a few near misses and shoulder check one or two guys, but, uh, I guess it was kind of like a bit bittersweet, you know, you have so many people, so many fans, and it was sure. so crazy, I'd never seen anything like it, but at the same time, you know, it was a little bit uh, a little bit dangerous maybe, and a um, few people weren't taking the utmost of caution standing out on the road, but... Yeah, it's a double-edged sword, isn't it? No, exactly. It's great for cycling, but, uh, yeah. you know, a challenge for you and your safety. <laughs> of course, yeah. Well, not just our safety, but also the safety of the fans, you know, I mean... Yeah. Sometimes maybe they don't realize that you're traveling 50, 60 k an hour, and you know what an impact that sort of speed right. has on them. You know as much as it does on us. Right. Now uh, with the tour, now you have uh, done all three Grand Tours. Mm -hmm. um, can you uh, share with us some some thoughts on each one, and what are the differences between them, and what do you like and dislike? Uh, yeah. I mean, every Grand Tour has its. Um, I guess it's characteristics, you know, the Giro, yeah. a lot of memories of, uh, you know, really physically probably the most grueling race, you know, um, long stages, hard stages, snow, bad weather, you know, those kind of things when you think of, of Giro. And then, um, you know, Vuelta is, uh, tends to be a much more relaxed race, you know, you sort of a bit more relaxed, feel in the peloton. And but still, like the last couple of years, has been quite challenging. You know, I spent a lot of times in the mountains in the northern Spain, and but a really great race and one I I really enjoy. And then the tour, the tour is uh, it's a special event. You know, you really notice the biggest difference is probably the media attention. You know, the the pressure that surrounds the the race four teams you know everything is sort of scrutinized at the tour performances and, and that sort of thing and and uh, for a team one result of the Tour de France is your year if you can pull that off it doesn't matter what you've won or what you haven't won all year so you notice that you notice the sometimes desperation in teams that haven't won a stage yet or that haven't performed yet you definitely you notice that out on the road and in, in you know racing tactics and in, in 
all kinds of different ways. Yeah. So I think that's probably the biggest thing with the tour would be the stress, the stress around it, okay. from pressure, media attention, sponsors, mm -hmm. this sort of thing. And uh, so, yeah, each one has a little, little quirks. And, uh, you know. Now, if I could suggest, uh, the, the finishing of the, the Tour de France on the Champs de Lise is is fabled and probably a, a pinnacle in every uh, professional uh, racer's career. Are, are you looking forward to that moment? Yeah, I mean, getting to Paris would be would be an absolute uh, dream come true. Obviously, you know, riding up the Champs de Lise is. Uh, like you said, it's it's sort of the the pinnacle of every of every bike rider's dream, you know. And so yeah, I mean we're hoping hoping we all get there be safe. You know, we've got a couple a couple big days left, big mountain day today, and uh, another long one tomorrow. And um, yeah, it would, it would be great. And I'd really really look forward to riding up to Champs today. Well, thank you for your time. I'll let you get uh, going and look forward to uh, cheering you on on the Champs-Élysées. Thank you very much. Cheers.